Imagine a single night, more powerful than a thousand months. A night that holds the key to infinite blessings and divine mercy. This is Laila Tulkadar. It's a night shrouded in mystery and filled with profound significance, a cornerstone of the Islamic tradition. It's believed to be the night when the first verses of the Quran were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, marking the beginning of his prophethood. In the Islamic faith, it's said that this night is better than a thousand months. Just think about that for a moment. A single night, carrying the weight and blessings of over 83 years. It's a time for prayer, reflection, and seeking forgiveness from the Almighty. It's a night of peace, tranquility, and divine intervention. In the grand scheme of the universe, Laylatul Qadr is a moment of divine intervention, a night when heaven touches earth. Laylatul Qadr is not just a night of power, but also a journey of spiritual ascension. Imagine a night when the heavens open up, when divine mercy descends, and the bonds between the mortal and the eternal are at their strongest. This is Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree. In this sacred night, believers embark on a spiritual journey, a quest for ascension that transcends the physical world. It's a time when the heart yearns for purgation, longing to be cleansed of its burdens and sins. The soul, in its profound humility, seeks forgiveness from the divine, acknowledging its faults and begging for mercy. This spiritual elevation is not about reaching a physical destination, but rather about achieving a state of inner peace and enlightenment. It's about immersing oneself in the ocean of divine love, letting go of worldly distractions, and focusing entirely on one's spiritual growth. The practices associated with Laila Tul Qadr are designed to facilitate this spiritual ascension. Prayer, the most intimate dialogue between a believer and their creator, is a key element of this night. It's an opportunity to express gratitude, seek guidance, and plead for forgiveness. The recitation of the Quran is another important practice. As the divine word of Allah, the Quran is a source of guidance and enlightenment. Its recitation on this night serves as a spiritual compass, guiding believers on their journey of ascension. Supplication, or dua, is another integral part of Laylatul Qadr. It's a heartfelt plea to the Almighty, a manifestation of a believer's dependency on the divine. It's an expression of hope, a testament to a believer's faith in the mercy of their creator. Laylatul Qadr is a night of profound connection with the divine. It's a night that holds the promise of mercy, forgiveness, and spiritual ascension. It's a night that offers a glimpse into the divine realm, a night that paves the way for spiritual enlightenment. As we immerse ourselves in prayer, recitation, and supplication, we engage in a dialogue with our Creator that transcends the boundaries of the physical world. In the quiet solitude of this night, souls ascend towards their Creator, seeking His mercy and blessings. But Laylatul Qadr offers more than just blessings and forgiveness. It's a night that fosters a profound connection with the Divine. We often feel as if we are mere spectators in this vast universe. But on this special night, we are reminded of our active role in the cosmic play. The Night of Decree, Laylatul Qadr, is a time for introspection and prayer. A time to seek a deeper connection with the Divine. In Islam, the bond between the Divine and the believer is not just a distant, abstract concept. It is a living, breathing relationship that grows and strengthens with every act of faith. And on this night, that bond becomes even stronger. Laylatul Qadr is like a spiritual bridge, linking the earthly and the divine, the finite and the infinite. Imagine standing under a sky blanketed with stars, feeling a sense of peace enveloping you. This peace, this tranquility, is not just an emotional state. It's a spiritual condition that embodies the essence of Laylatul Qadr. In this serenity, 
there's a quiet conversation happening, a dialogue between the heart and the divine. This conversation doesn't need words. It's a language of the soul, a language of love, longing, and submission. Laila Tulkadar is a night of intense reflection. It's a time to look within, to assess our spiritual journey. It's a time to ask, where have we been? Where are we heading? And most importantly, how is our relationship with the Divine? The beauty of Laila Tulkadar is that it's not just a single night. It's a spiritual catalyst, a spark that can ignite a lifelong journey towards God. It's a night that can transform a fleeting moment of connection into a lasting bond with the Divine. So, as we immerse ourselves in the tranquility of Laylatul Qadr, let us strive to strengthen our bond with the Creator. Let us seek His mercy, His blessings, and His guidance. And let us remember that this profound connection with the Divine is not just for one night. It's a journey that continues, a journey that enriches our lives with peace, purpose, and fulfillment. In this sacred night, the veil between the divine and human realms becomes thinner, allowing for a deeper connection with the Creator. The story of Laila Tulkadar doesn't end when the night fades into dawn. In fact, it's only the beginning. It's a spiritual journey that transcends the confines of a single night, a journey that's as enduring as our faith and as infinite as our quest for spiritual enlightenment. You see, the beauty of Laila Tulkadar doesn't lie solely in its divine blessings and the forgiveness it offers. It's also in the lessons it teaches us, the spiritual insights it prorates and the profound connection it fosters with the divine. It's a night that serves as a spiritual compass, guiding us on our quest for enlightenment and showing us the way towards a more fulfilling and spiritually enriched life. Think of Laila Tulkadar as a spiritual boot camp. It's a night that equips us with the tools we need to navigate the complexities of life with grace and resilience. It instills in us a sense of purpose, a sense of direction and a sense of connection with the divine that we carry into our everyday lives. So, as the down breaks and the mystical night of Laila Tulkadar fades into the past, let's not forget the lessons we've learned, the insights we've gained, and the spiritual growth we've experienced. Let's keep the spirit of Laila Tulkadar alive in our hearts and minds and let it guide us on our ongoing journey towards spiritual enlightenment. Remember, the journey of faith is not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's a lifelong quest that requires patience, perseverance, and, most importantly, a relentless pursuit of spiritual growth and enlightenment. It's a journey that's filled with challenges and obstacles, but also with countless opportunities for growth, learning, and spiritual elevation. As dawn breaks, we are not the same as we were before. We are spiritually elevated, enlightened, and ready to continue our journey with renewed faith and vigor. The night of Laila Tulkadar may have ended, but our spiritual journey continues, guided by the light of faith and the lessons of this sacred night. So. Let's continue this journey with a heart filled with faith, a mind open to learning, and a spirit ready for enlightenment.